The manhunt is now on to find the people police say broke into a home in Albuquerque last night. That's right. Police say just before 8 o'clock, the people broke into a home on Dallas Southeast near Pennsylvania and Zuni, then took off in a white Ford Crown Victoria. Officers say that car stopped way east of there at Copper and Chico. That's when the people inside apparently took off running. Again, police are still trying to find them. Well, an Albuquerque police sergeant arrested this weekend on charges of domestic violence has resigned. Patrick Fickey was accused of being drunk and assaulting his wife in front of their kids at their house in Rio Rancho. His wife claims he wouldn't let her leave the house, but she was finally able to after he passed out. Fickey used to be a spokesperson for the police department. He was with APD for more than nine years. And the police sergeant involved in a deadly crash in Albuquerque this weekend is at home recovering this morning. And when Sergeant Adam Casaus goes back to work, he'll be on desk duty. Burn Leo County Sheriff's deputies say Casaus was in his police SUV with the lights and siren on looking for a drunk driver early Sunday morning when he slammed into an SUV at Paseo del Norte and Eagle Ranch Road. Ashley Browder died in that crash. Her sister was rushed to the hospital with a broken hip and a fractured spine. Deputies still have not said who had the green light when that crash happened. And a woman from Valencia County in the hospital right now in critical condition after sheriff's deputies say this man, her husband, stabbed her in the neck. And now deputies are trying to find him. He's Dale Nielsen. Deputies say he stabbed his wife about 7.30 yesterday morning at their home near Los Lunas. If you know where Nielsen is, sheriff's deputies would like to hear from you. We now know more about the woman found dead on the side of a busy street this week weekend. She was struck by a semi truck. Police say the semi truck driver thought he had hit a dog on Coors near Eagle Ranch early Sunday morning, but after looking at the truck, investigators say that he ran into the woman who was walking on the side of the road. The district attorney will decide if the truck driver should face any criminal charges. We have learned a man killed in a Colorado skiing accident on Friday was an officer at Holloman Air Force Base. First Lieutenant Arthur Glass was a vehicle management flight commander with the 49th Logistics Readiness Squadron. He was killed after getting hit by a tree on an intermediate trail in Keystone. Glass was wearing a helmet. Lieutenant Glass was 27 years old. Robert Schilling is waking up as the new chief of the New Mexico State Police. The New Mexico Senate unanimously confirmed the appointment. Schilling joined the state police back in 1992. He previously worked for the uh, Silver City Police Department. He was selected as acting state police chief in January 2011 after the retirement of Farron Sagata. Well, putting a stop to the gun control trend. That's at least what one sheriff's office here in New Mexico says it'll do. This is if Congress passes laws to ban certain kinds of guns. This is in Roosevelt County. It's on the border with Texas. Uh, the sheriff's office says uh, the sheriff's office chief deputy there, Mullen Parker, says deputies took an oath to support the Second Amendment and the right to bear arms, and they're going to keep on doing that no matter what the federal laws are. And a lot of people in Portales agree with him. I'm not willing to give up my guns, and I don't think gun control is the answer. I totally agree they should not enforce that us as American citizens have the right to bear arms. Also, the Clovis News Journal says Curry County Sheriff won't enforce a federal gun ban either. Well, it is one of the worst intersections in all of Albuquerque. We all know this. We're talking about Paseldo Norte and I-25, and starting tonight, you're going to get the chance to tell the city how you think this intersection should be better. Oh, yes. This is the first step in the major construction that is being proposed there. A public meeting is set for tonight to get info and to give your two cents on the project. Our News 13's David Romero is live near the interchange with details. David, good morning. Good morning, Elizabeth. Well, we all know how busy this interchange can get in the mornings and afternoons. Now, whatever plan is chosen, it's definitely meant to help alleviate some of those traffic headaches. Now, out of all the proposed plans out of the $93 million project, those include flyovers to eliminate traffic backups between 7 and 9 in the morning, afternoon troubles from 4.30 to 6. Then there will be more work further down near Jefferson and Paseo. Now, cars aren't the only ones getting a helping hand. Bicycle and pedestrian walkways will be worked on as well. Voters in Bernalillo County approved bond funding for the project back in November. Many are happy to see the wheels of progress finally in motion. I think as they do it in stages, um, I think it'll, um, you know, obviously it'll take a long time and be a pain in the neck, but I think when it gets done, I think it'll be worthwhile. I'm all for it because it helps with traffic flow. Um, it helps our city move along in the mornings during rush hour. And, of course, if you want to provide your input on those plans, you can find a link on how to do so 
uh, attached to this story later this morning at krqe.com. Look under the KRQE Mornings tab. Meanwhile, tonight's meeting will be at the Courtyard Marriott, which is not too far from this spot that we're at here uh, near Paseo and I-25, and that's going to take place from tonight at 6.30 to 8.00 back to you. All right, I have a feeling a lot of folks are going to show up to this meeting. David, thank you. By the way, once all the plans are approved and contractors decide on the project and that is set to begin possibly this September, the DOT plans to do the majority of the work and do that work by during the night and hopefully they plan to be done by July of 2015.